Hi, I'm Jennifer from Open Helix. Welcome to this tip of the week. If you're viewing this movie somewhere other than our blog, be sure to check out the post at blog.openhelix.com to be able to see the full discussion, the links, and the reference list. In today's tip, I would like to show you one aspect of um, the updated design of the RCSB PDB uh, macromolecular pages. The full redesign of the site um, is described in this paper and I link to it in my tip. Um, they have really done amazing things to uh, help an even broader community to um, utilize their resource. The aspect that I want to show you today are their um, data distribution summaries. You can find these summaries in a lot of different places and the result of a variety of different search types. What I did to access this data distribution, if you noticed, was I clicked on the latest release. So this data distribution is um, covering all of the uh, data that was released into the RCSB PDB in the past week. My data distribution um, display that you see here, so for example organisms are broken down by into 43 records for of human um, information which covers approximately 34 percent of all of the hits. There are also E. coli, um, enterobacteria, etc. And these, the information, the data is broken down into a variety of categories that you can see here. Taxonomy, experimental method, x-ray resolution, um, release date, polymer type. I'm going to click on Homo sapiens to drill down um, to my details even further. So we went from over a hundred uh, structures, if you noticed before, to the 43 structures that are specifically um, related to humans. And now I've got a further detailed uh, data distribution on just those human uh, records. And you can see 40 of them are in man. Uh, there are also um, viral human um, data combinations. So again we get um, these different categories. To show you how I can further drill down, I'm going to um, look at the enzyme classification and uh, let's say I'm interested in the hydrolysis, so I'll click on that. When I click again, now I am drilling down or focusing specifically on those eight hydrolases. And again, I've got a great um, breakdown or and categorization of those eight records. And I can further drill down. I can drill down until I get to a single entry. Once I get to a single entry, if I click on it, uh, I am actually taken to that specific structure page. And then, you know, I've drilled down to exactly the record that I'm interested in, and now I've got all of the um, vast amounts of information that the RCS B PDB um, supplies with their records. So, again, Please check out the RCSB PDB, uh, their data distributions, their um, macromolecular information, great resource, easy to use regardless of whether you're a structural biologist or um, some other type of interested user. Thanks for joining me with this tip. See you next time.